Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. We continue now with Paul's farewell speech to the Ephesian elders. We saw yesterday that he said, Be on guard for yourselves and for all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. And today we pick it up at verse 29. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves, men will arise speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore, be on the alert, remembering that night and day for a period of three years, I did not cease to admonish each one with tears. So Paul is just telling them that he knows that after he goes, there's going to be problems. There's going to be false teachers and false prophets, wolves in sheep's clothing who are going to come in, who are going to um, lead many, many astray. And unfortunately, this is what happened. He told them to be on guard um, and to be alert. Uh, but of course, we know that um, there were problems after he left. And this, there's problems in every single church. As someone rightly said, the devil doesn't fight the church anymore because many churches he's joined. And sadly, that is true. There is so much rubbish. There are so many false teachings. There are so many perversions and distortions of the word of God. We need to be on our guard. We need to test everything. I tell you over and over again, don't just believe everything you hear just because the person is a good speaker. Test everything against the scriptures. I encourage you to test everything that I teach you and tell you against the scriptures. Make sure that it is in line with what God's word is saying. And not just a fragment of the scriptures, but we've got to take the whole Bible as a whole and see what the whole Bible says about things so that we do not get led astray. There are many, many, uh, Paul said, there will be the ones who come from the outside and from, from also amongst yourselves will rise up people who will draw you away. Uh, false prophets have different motivations. Some of them do it for glory because they just want to have lots of people following them. Uh, obviously, they do it for money. Um, there's other reasons as well, but we need to be on the alert. We need to be well versed in scripture. And we are so blessed that God has given us his word, that we have the measuring stick and we can check it out. And not only do we have his word, we have the author of the word, the Holy Spirit living in our hearts. So we need to learn to depend and to rely upon him to be able to uh, distinguish between the truth. Paul says, for three years, I taught you uh, often with tears. He really cared about the flock. He cared about these people and he cared about providing the message uh, truthfully and faithfully. And that's also my concern is that I would always rightly divide the truth and always teach you the word of God in its entirety. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus. And we thank you for the warning again to be alert, to be awake. Help us to rightly divide the truth. Help us to discern truth from error. There's so much and so many wolves come in sheep's clothing. The packaging looks good. The outside looks good, but inside there's rubbish. Lord, and a lot of it can be quite deadly. We pray that you would just help us to be able to discern, to rightly divide the truth, to know what is right and what is wrong. Give us the thirst for your word. May we daily read your word. May we grow in your word. May we be, Lord, understanding your word. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything that you give to us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you that you abide in our hearts. We thank you that we are never, ever alone. As your word directs and teaches us, we pray for our country, we pray for our governments, we pray for those in authority. We pray, Lord, that you would help them to make good and right decisions, to stop fighting one another and just to see what is best for the country and best for people and to do the right thing. Heavenly Father, we lift up before you those who proclaim the truth. We thank you for them. We pray for everyone who ministers the truth, Lord, and we pray that you would just bless them and fill them with your Holy Spirit. Take out the false prophets and the wolves in sheep's clothing. Lord, would you show them up and help us to be able to reject them and repel them. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who live in countries where there's suffering. We see war in the Ukraine, war in Israel, Palestine. Lord, we pray for mercy. We pray for an end to fighting. No one wins in a war. There's so many losses on each side, Lord, and we just pray for mercy. Heavenly Father, have mercy. We pray for peace. We pray, Lord, for wisdom of leaders of other countries to know how to deal with these situations. Heavenly Father, we commend to you the sick, the dying, the poor, the orphan, the widow, the homeless, the needy. We pray, Lord, for the lost, for those who do not know you yet. And there's so many all around. We pray that our lives would be a living witness, that your light would shine in and through us. Help us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world, as you have said that we are. 
we know that you are the vine and we are the branches apart from you we can do nothing so we stay firmly attached to you lord and pray that your holy spirit would flow in and through us so now we let go of everything and ask that you would just take us by the hand and lead and guide us today and hear us as we join together in praying our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.